All the defense attorney has to do is have someone believe that he's truthful. Another big piece of this puzzle is the involvement of Wool's ex-boyfriends. The defense has tried to tie the murder to one of them, including Jeffrey Herpsman, who previously took the stand. Prosecutors say he initially admitted to killing Wool, but then he recanted, saying that he was under the influence when he spoke to police. Have you ever heard of a suspect or someone who was tied to a case like this saying that the drugs influence their admission or non-admission? Yeah, typically that individual becomes a defendant. You know, that that's what my experience has been, and in this situation, it didn't. Michael Jackson Bolanos will return to the state. How many people in the state, let alone the country, tried to file appeals and say, uh, I made that statement under duress or influence, or people admitted the stuff, and then the next day they're like, oh, no, I don't remember that, and they still get banned. Here, take this 40 piece for a nice track, and take this natural life without parole. If, I would have walked in there with my pigmentation and said that I killed her. What? I would have been on trial with him. They would have been trying both of us for a murder. You did what I'm talking about? Then she had a stalker ex-boyfriend that her sister was talking about that was crazy. Then you got the guy that, the other boyfriend that admitted to it. What? She was a little, she was out here though. She, I ain't gonna lie, she was out here. I, I these ain't no Looney Tunes, but you wanna catch this road runner. I know Adam, he carry 22s, but this ain't no jumper. Lil' dog be fucking with the shit, but he ain't no plumber. They ain't even